a man from the Banu Nadir, who was the Jewish tribe in Medina, they practically owned the market of Medina. So one man from this tribe, he comes to the market of Medina. Towards the evening, the market closes at Maghrib, at dark. So towards the end of the day, this man comes to the market. He goes to one shop, which is owned by a Muslim, by one of the Sahaba of Nabi Sallallahu and he wants to buy something that this thing is there. So he asks him how much for this. He gives him a price. The man says, fine, give it to me. This Sahib says to him, he says, please do me a favor. He says, what favor? He said, you see that shop at the end of the market on the other side. He said, that man has the same thing which I have for the same price. Go and buy it from there. So now this customer says, what kind of, you know, what kind of thing is this? I mean, I come to you, I am your customer, you are selling. I come to you, I want to buy something. I am happy with what you are giving me, I am happy with the price. Instead of selling it to me, you are sending me to somebody else, which means that you are, potentially you are making a loss for yourself and you are giving the profit to someone else. Why? So this man said to him, you know, the reason I'm doing that is because I have been watching that man all day today. For some reason, I don't know why. He, today he did not get any customers. So the whole day has gone. Now I don't want him to go home hungry. Because he did no business today. So you go, you, even if you are one person, at least, you know, he makes some money, so go there. This chap said, fine, good, alhamdulillah. If you are a nice man, I'm gone. He goes there. He buys whatever he had to buy. Then he comes back. By the time he comes back, this Sahabi now has got one or two other customers. You know, if Allah has written for you, you get it. You send somebody away, it doesn't matter, Allah will send someone else. So now this man, he's got someone else. So he sees him standing there and he says, now why is he back here? I, I sent him there, maybe the, he did not get something, what he wanted. So when the customers is, are finished, he asked him, he said, what happened? Didn't you get what you wanted? He said, no, I got it. I got it. He said, then why are you here? He said, because I want something which you have. He said, what's that? He said, I want that which is in your heart because of which you sent me to that man. Huh? So he said, well, why are you asking for that? He said, because that man is from my tribe. That man is a Jewish man. He said, you send me to a man who is not even Muslim, he is a Jewish man, you send me to him because you are concerned that he will go, to ho go home hungry. What is this thing in your heart? I want that. This is the, the, the issue is our akhlaq. The issue is our mu'amilat. Our dealings with people. This is what wins hearts. And Alhamdulillah, this is what the Sahaba did, this is what they showed. We have incidents of this from the seerah of Nabi Wasallam, from the stories of the Sahaba. And Alhamdulillah, I can say even today there are people like this, by the grace of Allah, it's not as if the world is free from them. But the number is less. <coughs> you see, at any time, there will always be people who are, you know, doing good and people who are not doing that well. But <coughs> the question is, who is born? And that is what we need to work about.